I like that statement that the relationship between an atom and a human is the same as between a human and the stars, that we're in between these two extremes. What's great about that world is that it turns out it matters how you place these atoms in space. I am Andrew Goodwin. I'm a professor of materials chemistry at the University of Oxford. The theory that tells us about how things are arranged is almost universally predicated on the idea of a pattern that repeats. In a disordered material, we break that repeat, that pattern in some way. If we can create unusual properties by playing around with geometry in interesting ways, what other paradigms can we challenge? And this is where this, this fundamental paradigm of repetition of periodic order seems like a natural one to try and turn on its head. You can get completely new properties. So you think of the materials that go into, say, an iPhone that you can control, touch sensitive, or materials that show light, or switch between being able to conduct and not conduct electricity, respond to magnetic fields. And we're finding two things. One, we can probably design completely new types of materials that do things we could never expect them to do before. Or alternatively, they're materials that we're already using but don't understand well, and we're starting to unlock the secrets of how those materials do the things that they do. Claire Gray is one of my absolute heroes in materials chemistry. She's been such a real pioneer, both in terms of the development of techniques and our understanding of important materials that all of us use in society on a day-to-day -day basis. What makes Andrew's work so brilliant and superb is that he's just really pushed the way of looking at these disordered materials. By doing these very careful studies, he can really start to understand some very fundamental chemistry and physics. If you've got materials that respond in exactly the opposite way to how you expect, then you can start to design materials that behave like muscles themselves. They can respond to stimuli, that could be pressure, it could be light, it could be heat. These very fundamental discoveries actually have very big real-world ramifications. This day and age where there's a real strong push towards overly hyped science, Actually, it's this careful, fundamental science that's going to have the long-term impact, and I think it's really nice that he's given this award that recognises excellent science. I would love to be able to look back at the end of my career and say that somehow through our work, we've managed to change the way that we as materials chemists think about our job. Ultimately, how it is that we design materials that transform human existence. And if we can change the rules, hopefully in important ways, that would make me extremely happy and proud.